Hey guys, in just a couple of days, Apple will be releasing iOS 17.3 to everyone and for everyone to download on their iPhones. And of course, I've been testing iOS 17.3 since beta one released back in December 12th of 2023. And in just a couple of days, you'll be able to download the software to your iPhone. However, in today's video, I wanna talk about a few things you need to know before you update to this software update. As I mentioned, I've been testing on multiple devices, my primary iPhone 15 Pro Max, also a 14 Pro Max, iPhone 11. So I have a general idea on how things are going in terms of issues, bugs, things you should do, also battery and performance. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so first things first, if you don't want your iPhone to automatically update once iOS 17.3 is available, you wanna jump into settings, you wanna go into general, then you wanna jump into software updates. And right here where it says automatic updates, you have three options. You wanna go into the top here where it says automatically installed. You wanna turn that off so your iPhone does not install the software. And if you don't want your iPhone to download the software, you can turn this off as well. That way your iPhone will never download or install the software once it is available to the general public. Now, as I mentioned, I've been testing iOS 17.3 over the past month and a half or so, and there's a few issues that I've encountered with this software that I thought I'd let you guys know before you attempt to update to this software. Number one, I wanna talk about Wi-Fi. Now, here on this iPhone 15 Pro Max, I've experienced poor Wi-Fi connection and even sometimes spotty and disconnecting of Wi-Fi with the primary iPhone 15 Pro Max here for testing in the studio. Now, I've also tested other devices like iPhone 11, which is one of the oldest iPhones, and even iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now, the only devices that are showing issues so far with Wi-Fi being poor connection and disconnecting randomly would be the 14s and the iPhone 15. I'm not sure why that is, but I've noticed that the newer devices, I continue to experience poor Wi-Fi connection, and sometimes it would randomly disconnect from my device and reconnect. I'm not sure why that's happening, number one. Number two, on my primary device, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, I've noticed that my cell service would randomly disconnect from the carrier. Now, I'm not sure again why this is happening, but it continues to happen ever since iOS 17.3 Beta 1, places where I typically have service, I have encountered issues where my iPhone just completely loses cell service from the carrier, and then it comes back about a minute or two later, and it continues to happen even with the latest iOS 17.3 RC, which is the release candidate running on this iPhone right here, which is basically the same update that we'll be rolling out in the next couple of days. So poor Wi-Fi connection and spotty cell service and randomly disconnecting from the cell service on the brand new iPhone as well. Now with iOS 17.3, there was also an issue that some iPhones were being sent into a boot loop when updating to 17.3 beta 2 however apple did fix this issue and the issue was directly related to this feature under accessibility so if we jump into accessibilities and we go under touch and we scroll all the way to the bottom right here back tap if you have this option turned on i recommend you turn it off before you attempt to update to ios 17.3 again apple has addressed this issue with the latest rc but you never know just to be safe I recommend you turn off any back tap actions that you may have enabled on your iPhone before you attempt to update to iOS 17.3 just in case the bugs lingers once again and some iPhones get sent into boot loops. You'll be able to avoid that issue in case it happens again. Again, Apple addressed the issue but it could happen. And then I wanna talk about the battery because I know a lot of you guys continue to ask in regards to the battery. This is basically the final release that you'll see in here on my iPhone. And I have to say the battery just isn't the best running iOS 17.3. Although I get through my entire day, sometimes during heavy use, I do struggle to get through my entire day on my primary device. Now, interestingly enough, on older iPhones like the iPhone 10R, the iPhone 11, I've noticed that battery performance is better than it is on newer devices. Once again, older devices seem to perform slightly better on the latest OS than some of the newer iPhones like the 14 Pro Max. The battery is sort of iffy. I get through the entire day, but sometimes I do struggle. And on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, I definitely struggle getting through my entire day every now and then. And those are just a few things I wanted to share with you guys. Battery performance on newer devices is not great. I'll have an entire video on how to optimize battery on iOS 17.3, so make sure to subscribe for that. Thank you for watching. I just wanted to share those details with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.